Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Say good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to class. Are you happy because it's Friday night? Hmm? Anybody? Well, it's Friday. It's the last class of the week. It's the class number 15 of the whole course of 20 classes. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you're fine. I see people saying good evening on the chat, which is really great. Say, Gracia, Christy, Ricardo, Douglas. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers up. <laughs> All right. Or cheer up. Hector. I see Stephanie's messages. Great. Well, as you already know, we do it, we did it, <laughs> it's Friday, cheer up, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I feel you people, it's Friday, and the battery is low, well, but as I was saying, yes, it's the last class of the week, I hope you've been working on the platform as well, because that's really important to complete every unit, every session on the platform. And to start with, yes, let me just introduce a topic. I think you already noticed, you already noticed that in every Friday, since it's the end of the week, it's the last class of the week, we usually have the review. The review means repaso okay or the summary right so we sum up the whole unit the whole session in this occasion because it's the third week is the unit number three or the session yeah session number three all right so today is friday september the 8th and this is our video conference number 15. Unbelievable. All right. So at the end of this session, yeah, participants will be able to practice vocabulary mainly related to daily activities, daily routine activities that you do at work, uh, simple present, asking and answering questions, asking and answering what time questions, questions related to um, activities that you do at work and also prepositions of time. Okay, so before anything else happens, yes, I have to have the attendance. Let me go, let me go to the attendance. I'm not quite sure if it's right here. Oh yes, give me one second. I must have it somewhere. Is it raining? Any place where you are? Is it raining? Because here it was raining in the afternoon, but not raining anymore. It was raining a lot, actually. Okay, I have the list already. Oh my God. Okay, let me 
yes, the eighth. Okay, Christy. Present teacher. Andrea. Present. Hi, Brian. Present. Christian Alexander. Present. David Escobar. Present teacher. Doris. Douglas. Present. Stephanie. Francisco Javier. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Gracias, Marisol. Present. Hector Manuel. Present, teacher. Joanna. Present. José Antonio. Carla. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nelson. Ricardo. Present, teacher. Wendy. And Wilmer. Present teacher. Hi, Wilmer. Present teacher. Hi, Wilmer. Hi, <laughs> All nice. right. Good evening. Nice. Well, I see. Yes. Nice. Done. Done, done, done with the attendance. Very efficient this time. Well, as I was mentioning, yes, we have to fulfill with this objective. Yes, Stephanie present on the chat. All right. We got some vocabulary, some structures to practice. And the first thing we're going to practice is something very simple, very, very easy. I think I made, um, I guess I made a, a chart, let's say. I, you, we and they, we use the auxiliary. Do. Do, exactly. But if we say he, she, and it, we use the auxiliary. Does. Does, exactly. Okay, so this is pretty simple. Okay, having this in mind for the questions, we use the auxiliary do and does, right? So the subject is you. Therefore, the auxiliary that I need is do. do. Okay. Do you like coffee or tea? Number two. The subject is I. So the auxiliary that I need is? Mm -hmm. Do. When do. When do I start working? For example, if you apply to a job, you go to an interview and then you say, oh, when do I start working, right? Sometimes the new um employer, the new boss tells you, oh, you start tomorrow. Or you start now, you start right away. All right, when do I start working? Number three? Do. do. How do? How do you feel? Okay, this is a very similar question to how are you? How do you feel? Number four? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Who does she work with? <clears throat> Who does she work with? She works with her family. She works with this company. She works with her colleagues. She works with the engineers. She works with the clients. Okay. Why? Who does. Why does, does. she always Why does. come late? She comes late because she goes to university, because she visits clients, because she has uh, an emergency, because she finds a lot of traffic, because 
she takes her children to school. Okay, six. Do. do. What do you think? What do you? When you want to ask for the opinion of another person, you should say, what do you think? Well, what's your opinion? What do you think about this? What do you think about the report? What do you think about the project, right? Okay, seven. Do. Do. Okay, how do I sign here? When you have to sign a paper, a legal paper, so you say, oh, how do I sign? Formal, informal, with black in, electronic signature, or anything. All right, number eight. Do. do. Yes. Same one. Where do you sign in, right? The number nine. Yes. Okay, what else she likes to read? She likes to read newspapers, she likes to read the news, she likes to read novels, she likes to read comedies. And the last one? Do. do. Where do? do we? Exactly. Where do we keep the sharpener? Sharpener is an instrument that you use for sharpening the pencils, right? But it can yes. be any other. It can be any other object. Where do we keep the paper? Where do we keep the ink? Where do we keep the material? So the scissors, the scissors, exactly, the cardboard, anything, anything that you keep in a specific spot, in a specific cabinet, in a specific place. All right. So practice reading the questions. Like, do you like coffee or tea? Imagine that some people ask you this question. Okay. For example, if a person asks you, do you like coffee or tea? Then you say, oh, I like both. I like coffee and tea, but I prefer to drink coffee in the morning. Or mm, I don't really like tea. I just like coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker. I drink a lot of coffee. Or you can say, mm, I don't like neither coffee nor tea. I don't like any. I prefer to drink water if you are a super fit and healthy person, right? So for number two, imagine somebody said, when do I start working? Oh, when do you start working? In this case, because you're not asking yourself. So I start working at seven. I start working in this in, in this context, right? I start working at nine. I start working at eight. Okay. How do you feel today? How do you feel right now? I feel very tired. I feel devastated. I feel oh, okay. I feel fine, right? What does she work with? Probably we, we don't have. I mean, context for this question, you can say, who do you work with? I work with my colleagues. I work with the accountants, okay? So you can change a little bit, modify it a little bit, okay? Um, why? I guess in this one, we can say a name, right? Why does someone... Or why does the secretary, the assistant always comes late? And you can be creative, use your imagination. You can say, oh, because she has an appointment, because she has a meeting, or because she visits customers or clients, or because she has a baby, I don't know, right? And what do you think? What do you think about the this exercise? It can be, what do you think about this class? What do you think about... English in general, what do you think about the schedule? What do you think about anything, right? And how do I sign in? Probably we don't have context for this one or you just skip it or you want to change it. Like how do you how do you practice English could be? Okay, where do you work? If you don't want, because signing is firmar, okay. But we don't have any context because we don't have any paper here to sign. We don't even sign the attendance because it's an online class. Okay, and what does she like to read? Maybe you can talk about somebody in your family. What does your mother like to read? What does your sister, what does your daughter like to read? Oh, she likes to read comedy. She likes to read inspirational books. She likes to read anything. Where do we keep the sharpener? Probably you can be more specific like where do you keep let's say the uh, school materials where do you keep the soup where do you keep the drinks where do you keep anything in your house right 
because we don't have an office or we don't have a classroom specifically. All right, this is just to um, practice a little bit, okay? Let me just close this because I want to take a, a screenshot for you to practice this conversations to open up the conversation. Wait a second. Um, Maybe I can put this a little bit behind. Okay, so I will share the picture, don't worry. No panic, no stressed out. Let's see. Oh my God, it will be a bit challenging to find your group because it's yesterday. I got a lot of messages. Okay, can you see the photo? Can you see the screenshot? Yes, teacher. Great. So you adapt, okay? If the questions are perfectly able to answer like this, like the way they are, you ask them like this. But if you can modify something, you modify that. All right. Let's open up having a conversation. Or maybe you can even discuss about your day. Oh, my goodness. Okay. One minute, please. Mm -hmm. There we go. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Hi, fine. And you? <laughs> well, good. Hi, hi, hi. Hola, sí. ¿Qué vamos a ver, jóvenes? Vengo llegando a mi casa. Qué tremendo, Richard, que son las Ahí en el grupo mandaron al grupo, al grupo mandaron este la las preguntas que vamos a hacer. Eh, como practicar la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya. Vaya, vaya. Mm, es lo que estábamos viendo ahorita. Ok. Uh -huh. <risa> vaya. A darle Vamos. respuesta, creo yo. A... Practiquemos entonces. Richard, decí la voz primero y así te vamos a dar la secuencia. De cómo se pronuncia. A mí también. Pero es que no me dije. No, pero, pero yo creo que. Ay. So, teacher. I'm, <clears throat> I have a question mm -hmm. about the, um, the to do mm -hmm. only can use that verb. How? Oh. Uh, for example, uh, or um, you can just say that do or does, mm -hmm. and why can I use to do? Just this, this, this uh, word to do. Ah, when you use it as an infinitive to do, to do something. Cuando es una acción que no la termina o que es repetitiva. Mm, es que es como decir el name of the activity, like to do something, el hacer algo. But it's, ah. it's not conjugated. Yeah. The name itself of the action. For example, when you make a to do list, you say, I have a to do list, it's many activities that I have to do. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And and that's a matter that or other conversation I can use do or does only. For questions, you need the auxiliary do or does. But yeah. you you can also say I do exercise, I do homework, 
she does exercise, she does homework. No, she no, does... no, I repeat. Actually, it's affirmative. When you say she does, she does her homework. She does housework. So it's the, so... It's the action, hacer. When when you uh, ask a question, mm -hmm. uh, I can ask question on negative. Yeah. Like, why don't you do your homework? Uh. Yes. Why don't you clean the house? Your mom you especially asks that kind of question. Why don't you go to sleep early? <laughs> yeah. Why why you don't play in weekends? Actually you can ask that, but why don't you? Why don't you why don't you complete the exercise? exercise. Why don't you practice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you like coffee or The other answer is uh, no. No, I don't like. No. Yes, I don't like coffee and Coca Cola, teacher. <laughs> no, Tia, Coca Cola. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Is a oh the um the next question when do um seleccionemos si les parece how do you feel how do you feel mm -hmm. how do you feel okay. Oh. Feel, feel. <laughs> Como hoy es, today is Friday. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I feel tired. Por dos, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, yes. yes, I feel very tired. Hola, ¿y alguien aquí? Lo siento, lo siento, estoy durmiendo. So... Buenas noches. Hola, pues si alguien mm. cree que estaba sola. No, no, me estoy quedando dormido. Lo siento. Sorry, mm. sorry. Eh, yo entré tarde, no sé qué, qué, qué es lo que tenía. ¿no? Pensando ahorita, estoy pensando. Because the traffic es horrible. Uh -huh. Porque el tráfico es horrible. Correcto, el tráfico. El tráfico. Es. Porque el tráfico es. Es que no lo puedo poner horrible. Es que porque, es pesado, porque, pesado. O mucho tráfico. Por mucho tráfico. Por mucho. La verdad, sí. Ok. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel tired and sleep, but great. Okay. Do you like soda? A little bit. Um I prefer when... I prefer water and mm. coffee. Okay. Or Perfect. natural drinks. Los frescos. <laughs> yes, frozen and smoothies. Um, cold coffee. Um, ice, okay. Ice coffee, or cold coffee, no sé cómo se dice. Ice coffee. 
Ajá, pero lo que pasa es que el ice coffee es como el café, ese, no sé, es como, no es que el que es como de granul, granizado, sino que es el otro que es como solo helado, pero es líquido. Con cubo de hielo, un café normal. Ajá, sí, ese es el ice coffee y el cold coffee creo que es el que es granizado. O frappe. Sí, o los frappés, sí, 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 los frappés. Bueno, who, bueno, why, what do you think about the, what do you think about the traffic? Teacher, cuando hay dos, bueno, en una oración puede haber dos, dos este, personas, es decir, por ejemplo, she and he. Entonces, en dado caso, o bueno, en el, en el caso que hubiera otro en el que se usara do y dos, ¿cómo se pronunciaría? Por ejemplo, eh, I and they. O no, creo que sería she and, and they, por ejemplo. Could you repeat? Vaya, <ríe> digamos que en una oración, vaya, uh -huh. cuando es, es, es she, uh -huh. se usa dos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Cuando es they, es do. Uh -huh. Vaya, y si hubiera una oración donde el, a la persona estuviera hablando y hubiera dicho eh, she, en they, o sea, sí. ella y ellos son parte de algo, por ejemplo. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo sería así entonces el uso? Generalmente toma el del, el del último. El último. Uh -huh. like, Margarita. Porque, ya está, porque en la primera se está hablando de una sola persona, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Margarita and her parents do. Mm, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. O sea que no, no, es, no hay como doble, doble uh -huh. verbo, sino que... Uh -huh. es... uh -huh. Y en todo caso sería ellos todos. Yeah. Porque ella y ellos hacen ellos también. Y, y cuando hay una separación, es decir, ahí por sí, ejemplo, sí. Por ejemplo Mar Margarita. Margarita plays and her and friends, and her friends work. Uh -huh. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. ok. O sea, me ves ahí una separación, entonces sí, sí Cada se usa doble. Cada se va a conjugar de, de, dependiendo del sujeto. Aunque sea una sola oración. Así es. Da, ok, uh -huh. ok. No Si quieren ahora, vamos leyendo cada una las preguntas y las respuestas para que las practiquemos. Todas las leemos. Sí, las que están ahí en el chat. O no sé si quieren agregar ustedes unas respuestas diferentes a esas. O las vamos... Oh, ajá, las leemos. No, uh -huh. todas, todas no. O oh, sí, vea, para que practiquemos. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Vale. Vamos, ¿cuántos somos? Tres o cuatro. 
Ah, pues cada vez vamos, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, y de ahí otra vez, y de ahí solo los dos primeros que haría. Si quieres, empieza tú. Ok, voy. Do you like coffee or Coca-Cola? Yes, I like <risa> coffee. No, I don't like coffee and Coca-Cola. How do you feel? I feel busy and I'm tired. I, I feel so happy for English class. What does she like to read? She likes to read Romeo and Juliet and likes to read Harry Potter. Eso, okay. Next. Johanna or Wilmer. Una consulta, cuando mencionamos la de Romeo, ¿es lo que no le gustó? Que, no, que sí. Ahí me, ahí me perdí. Sí, like, sí, sí. sí. Ajá. Le, sí Ajá, a ella le gusta o le encanta leer Romeo y Juliet. Juliet. Ajá. Y también le gusta leer Harry Potter. Podemos oh. poner también una respuesta negativa. Podría ser... Adiós y trabuca, ¿no? Where la 10 sería for you the sharp sharpener ¿Cómo es el pronuncia? La media te digo. Sharpener. Dice where do where do we the sharpener sharpener the sharpener Mhm. Mm. Sacapunta. Sacapunta, ¿eh? ¿Dónde guardaremos la sacapunta? ¿Dónde guardaremos la sacapunta? En el escritorio. Uh -huh. Pero es nosotros. ¿Sí? Nosotros, nosotros, All right, done. Open it. Yes. yes. Great, great, great. Okay. We have just finished this unit, unit three, in which we definitely practice the simple present information questions but we also practice at the beginning some vocabulary related to different areas <clears throat> i'm sorry I, I just get the flu again i think okay so this was the beginning of the unit three where do you work right and you can describe different departments in your workplace production research and development purchasing marketing human resources management accounting and finance give me one second please good evening teacher hi good evening Ay, disculpe que me voy conectando hasta esta hora, pero... What happened? Hasta ahorita voy saliendo de trabajar. My goodness. Yes. It's all right. Be careful. Bye. I present. 
All right, nice. Thank you. Thank you okay. for reporting yourself. Yes. Okay. I was mentioning that I got the the symptoms of the flu again. I hope I can breathe. All right. <laughs> so I was mentioning as well that the opening for this unit was the different areas, right, of the different departments in your company. Okay, these are possible departments. Maybe you have other departments, other areas, okay? And maybe some of these as well, right? So to refresh, to remember this vocabulary related to different areas, Maybe you remember the concept. What was the production? Can anybody tell me what the production definition of this is? Anybody remembers? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Production. La número uno sería, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Three. Number three. one, production, one, two, three. Control and super. Control the production and workforce and the production inventory. workforce and inventory. Right. Research and development. The payload, the new or improved, exist product or process. Develop, design, new or improve existing products or processes. All right, purchasing. But an acquire raw <clears throat> material production equipment, ATC for you of the organis organization. Right, buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. Marketing, marketing. Reset and identify what customer want I need at the right place. <laughs> yeah. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Human Resources Management. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right part in the company. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. In Accounting and Finance. Keep the finances record of trans transactions involving monetary inflow and outflow. So keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Exactly. Very good. So remember that information. At least remember the page. Page number. Mm -hmm. Anybody knows? Number 29. Because you have a very similar exercise at the end of the unit. Exactly. Right here, you have to ordenar, you have to put these words in order and give the definition what this departments do definition what do they do yes they acquire and buy raw material and equipment blah 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 imagine <clears throat> i'm just giving you an example but work with the words from page 37 work with the words with the page 38 so work with a partner in one is letter a and the other is letter b so you have to put these letters in order and say the definition of the activities that they do each department, okay? And then 
the other words are here, okay? So one person is letter A and the other person is letter B. You find, you put the words in order and you say the definition of the activities that they do. Of course, you if you don't remember, you can check the vocabulary at the beginning of the unit, okay? So, is there any question? ¿Hay alguna duda de lo que van a hacer? No. No. Clear? Is it clear? Like corchata. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ordenar las palabras de los nombres de los departamentos, de, de su empresa, de su company. Y luego decir de qué está a cargo cada uno de esos departments. All right. Uno puede ser letter A y otro puede ser letter B y preguntar. What does human resources management do? What does accounting finance department do? Y la otra persona da la definición. All right. Teacher, you can take the description. Yes, I will. Don't worry. <clears throat> Okay, let's go. Thing. Sí. La tercera sí. es la de human. Human recourse management. Management, sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. La otra es and development. Research and development, marketing and accounting. Of accounting. accounting and finance. Ok, y ahora la definición es, ejemplo, el de production. El de production es control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Vamos a ver cómo lo dejamos un poco más. La voy a ir anotando. Hay que modificar, la verdad que no. No lo entendí bien, yo... Pero voy a ver si... Yo le comprendí como que, si de cada, como que si de cada, digamos, este, función o, perdón, este, carrera, este, como que le colocáramos lo que, entendíamos, lo, que le, lo que le entendíamos de cada una de ellas, como que asignáramos actividades y si alguien del grupo... ¿Cuál es que tiene? La 36 y la 37. Ay, esas son las que tenemos que contestar. ¿O no? En la 37 la entendí yo. ¿Verdad? Es la 30. Bueno, ahí. No sé si es que eso es lo que íbamos a responder. What do they do? Ajá, ¿qué hacemos nosotros? Ajá, y la otra creo producción. que dice they do. Uh, what do they do en todas en todas es what do they do o sea definición Ajá. de lo que de lo que ellos hacen 
sería entonces lo que está ahí, ¿no? ¿Verdad? No, sería, digamos, en el caso de, de production, en mi caso es eh, control and very, no sé cómo se dice, very, bueno, control and supervise the production in crop. Te voy a preguntar el A y el otro B. Ya voy a ver, pero no quiero ver. What, what do the production, production do? What do the production do? Uh -huh. Ah, a ver, uh, de production sería entonces, ya te digo. La cuarta. Sí, es la cuarta. Entonces la uno, y ahí, ¿quiere ver? Cuatro, ve. Gracias. Gracias. Ahí solo tenés que leer la, la primera imagen que envió. Que es donde está la definición de la, del área de trabajo. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya de ahí. O sea, yo te, yo, yo te pregunto, tú respondes. Vale, pues para... me pregunta, yo respondo. Vale, entonces voy yo. Con, con, eh, the, the production, uh, do the control and supervise the, produ the production work, workers, uh, workforces. Así es, vea, workforces. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Workforces and inventory. Ok. No grabó. No sé What... si se contó Wilmer. What do research and development do? Develop, design, new, or improve. ¿Cómo se distraiga? La siguiente sería research and development. Uh -huh. Research. Research. And development. development. La otra es marketing, number four. Marketing. marketing. Y la otra, accounting en... Finance. Ajá, uh -huh, finance. Accounting. And... Solo okay. eso sí. sí, pero lo que sí no me he fijado. Ah, sí, pero los, los números los traen igual. By definition, what do they do? ¿Qué hacen ellos? Vale, aquí hay que poner, aquí hay que poner a un concepto corto, ¿no? Pero diría que no. Lo que dije ahí. Ay, no me quedó claro si vamos, si vamos a poner el concepto que ya tenía o uno que nosotros creamos. Mm, y, no, y no está la teacher ahorita, sí, yo creo que está. Teacher. Sí, en, la en la definición, teacher, vamos a poner siempre el mismo concepto que estaba en el ejercicio anterior o es algo que nosotros consideremos que pueden hacer. Puede ser, practiquen con el concepto anterior y puede ser que después ustedes digan, no, pero también hace esto, puede agregar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. No, right. You're welcome. Entonces sería para producción. Vamos a ver. Eh, Podemos hacerlo así, como de mención, textos cortos, no, no tan... Están uh -huh. haciendo la letra, ¿verdad? Pero para practicar podemos hacerlo con lo que ya está. Mm, vaya. Por, por. 
Control and supervise. This is control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Mm -hmm. It's control and supervision de la production. Mm. Comenzamos, ¿no? Sí. Una primera producción. Eh. Bueno, entonces sería, en mi caso sería, I buy this fertilizer. ¿De quién es? ¿Quién es? Gracias. Gracias. Eh, miss, are you here? Tell me. Repeat, repeat. Eh, what do you say fertiliz fertilizantes in English? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Yeah. Gracias. Thanks. No problem. Y... By, I buy steels, fertilizer, and pesti. What do you say, pesticides? Pesticide. Miss? Pesticides. Pesticidas? Yes, pesticide. No ah, yeah. puedes escribir uh, ahí en Thanks. el chat. Pesticides, right? Sí, sí, okay. Vaya, I buy, o sea, de comprar, I buy uh -huh. steels, S-E-E-D-E-S, -E -E fertilizer. No, que son... lo primero, no sé, gracias, repita después de buy. Steels, S-E-E-D-E-S. -E -E S-E. De... Ok, ok, ok. ¿Cuál es su nombre? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Espérame, que estoy tomando apunte. Dicho una consulta. El ejercicio número dos, donde estamos ahí en la página, uh -huh. son preguntas comunes. O sea, what, you, what is your name? When do you work? Where are you from? Yes. ¿O tiene que ser específico de algo? No, actually, que utilicemos el do y el das de preferencia, pero igual si usted quiere el feedback, como what is your name, está bien. Ah, ok. Pero de preferencia, what do you do at work? 
Oh, when okay. do you have meetings? Yes, where do you? Oh, que eh, ocupan el uh, verdad. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Como pregunta que le vaya a hacer a un compañero, no sé, uh, information questions, using the WH word provided, ask them to a friend. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y la número, la que está atrás, igual. Sí. Ocupando el do. Yes. Ok, ok. Oh, en esta parte. Gracias. Mm. Ah, pues si quieres la dos, bueno, la dos te voy a hacer yo la pregunta. When do you work? Ya las terminaste. Sí, solo están nada más de ordenar. Bueno, la última ya, ya la estoy terminando de ordenar, nada más. De ahí lo demás solo lo, lo arreglas con lo primero que te mandaron. Va. Ya, como ya, lo, ya hiciste lo primero, ya solamente pones lo que hace cada uno y ya tú. Va. No está complicado. Dale. De hecho, creo que ordenadas están. Según lo veo. Ajá. <coughs> Bueno, casi ordenada. Human color. Si quieres te las doy. Eh, la... No están exactamente ordenadas, pero sí, sí, las entiendo. O sea, como ya ordenamos las letras, ya solo de ponerle la definición. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ya estuvo. Va. Chévere. Finish teacher. All right. I'm the best, the best, and Douglas best, the best. All right, now everybody is back. Let's see. Yes. So, the first one, what is the department? Production. Production. Everybody? Yes. 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 Production. Okay. And what do they do? Control and supervise the production workforce. Control and supervise the production workforce. Number two? Inventory. Uh, Purchasing. Okay. Purchasing. Purchasing. All right. And what, what did they do? Uh, Buy and acquire raw materials, productions, equipment, etc. They buy uh, and acquire raw materials, okay, equipment for the production, right? Yep. Number three. That's um Human resource, human resource manager. Human resource manager. Management. Sorry. 
Human resource management. You know, human resources, you can practically abbreviate it like that. Human resources HR. management. HR. 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 <laughs> management. management. Right. Human resource management. What are they in charge of? They are in charge of, well, what do they do? Require, select, and train new employees <clears throat> yes. for the job in the company. Recruit, right? Train, select new employees for the company. All right. Let me move. Oh, well, actually, if I move this, it's going to move at the bottom. So I have to delete so that I can move the PDF. Okay, we're going to skip that and then we're going to do it. This one. Reset and development. Research and development, sorry. Research and development department. And what do they do? Point acquire raw material. Research and development? Ah, uh, oh, no, perdón. Develop. Design new product or process. Develop and design new products, process, uh -huh. or improve the existing ones, right? Okay. okay. Number four. Marketing. 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 So what do they do? Mm -hmm. Research and identify. Research and identify what the identify. what customers want and what need. Customers want and need at the right moment and at the right place, right? <laughs> and the last one. Accounting and finance. Accounting, Accounting and finance. All right. And what do they do? They have a lot of money now. <laughs> they take control of payrolls and money. <laughs> yes, they keep records, they control the inflows and the outflows of the company, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You just hear all drawings. And you have this exercise where you have to write simple present information questions. I know information questions can be with the verb to be. Like, what is your name? Where are you from? Right? What is your phone number? What is your email? Those are information questions too. But now... In this exercise, we're going to create information questions with do. Imagínense que esas preguntas se las van a hacer a su partner. Entonces, what do you do in your company? Or what do you do at the department you work, right? What do you do in the morning? What do you do at noon? Or what do you do on the weekend, right? When? When do you have meetings? When do you see customers? When do you finish the reports? When do you write reports? Yes. Where do you work? Where do you... Uh, make plans? I don't know. Whatever you want to ask with work place, right? Why? Why do you get up late on the weekend? <laughs> no. Why do you use a computer for, right? Why do you like 
informatics, for example. But why do you finish work late on Mondays as you wish? And which, which is when you have more than one option, probably you can say which uh, do you prefer? The morning or the afternoon shift at work? Yes, or which uh, activity is, uh, in this case, which activity do you think is the most difficult at work? Or which task, right? And who? Who do you work with? I work with my colleagues or I work with my uh, supervisor. Mm -hmm. Who do you live with? Right? Who do you practice English with? Could be as well. Okay? So, voy a dejar uno o dos minutos para que traten de responder, para más bien dicho, para que traten de formular las questions que puedan hacer a sus compañeros. Algunos creo que ya avanzaron en eso, right? ¿Ya las tienen? Do you have the questions already or not yet? One. One In progress. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. All right. So I give you two or three minutes, right? Just need to disconnect my computer. Hasta fotógrafo pagan. Pero no Porque se acaba de tomar. No, es no como que no. Así es como se te pone en Ahora sí, cuando se roba. Pero son muy que son conocidas de la gente. Compañeros, tienen micrófonos abiertos. La vista está. Ya no vamos a ir. All right, you finish? Are you ready now?
último, las últimas preguntas. Vale. Si quieres, permíteme un momentito, yo las termino de formular. Vale, está bueno. ¿Tú ya las tienes? Este, no, todavía me falta, pero dale. Ah, ya la voy a vaya, vaya, pues en unos minutos entonces. Chivo, chivo. Vaya. At class, do you don't assist? At class, um, no sé, un día, eh, on Monday. Uh -huh. Pienso que sí puede ser. On Monday. Um, Monday. Hola, hola, hola. Me había hola, no me conectado. ¿eh? <ríe> ¿Por cuál va? No, Estamos ahorita terminándola. ¿Cómo? Terminándola. Uh... Si quieren empiezo. ¿Quién quién? Francisco, what do you doing on weekends? ¿Cómo? What do you do on weekends? Tarde a tu casa. Esa sería la cuatro. What do you come late to your home? Una cinco, vamos a ver con which sería. Vamos a ver cuál, which es cuál. Mm. Which to you. Apartment, apart, apartment, apartment. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Which, uh -huh. which. Es que yo lo busco, fíjese aquí, y me aparece which como cuál. ¿Cuál? Which. which. Uh, maybe. Which are your favorite color, for example? Ajá, sí lo estaba haciendo, pero me lo en el traductor y me lo produce a what. A what. Oh. Ajá. Which. Cuando lo pongo what? en el traductor. Pero me decía, ¿cuál es? Decía yo. Which. Uh. Ahora yo. Bueno. What is your favorite color? My favorite color. But, so, I have three. Uh, are blue, black, and white. I need 
your favorite color? Well, one I if 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 I can choose one, I prefer your one. favorite color. My favorite color is white. Okay, thank you. When do you prefer take snaps? I prefer take naps on no in mountain. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. You, you liar! You live in my mind. Oh. <laughs> Why do you study English? Because I can learn or practice about it. What? Which is your favorite food? Pupusa or tacos? I prefer tacos. Man. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Ed Sheeran. Okay, thank you. No problem. No sé. We... ¿Quién es? ¿Quién? Bueno, aquí... Si gusta, dejemos la de último. Veamos, iniciemos con las otras. Con las primeras. Vale. Vaya, te pregunto, entonces. Sí. Vaya, la primera sería... What, what do you do at morning? ¿Qué haces por la mañana? Así sería, ¿verdad? What do you do uh -huh. at morning? Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Este, I, I take a shower and I go to the world. Shower, go to the world. Okay. Sí. Vaya, la otra sería When is your birthday? ¿Cómo? When is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Ah, Así when sería, you... ¿verdad? Así Ajá. sería la pregunta. Sí, uh, birthday va en el final, ¿verdad? Ajá, birthday. Ajá. <ríe> Birthday. When, uh -huh. when is your birthday? Uh -huh. Exactly. My birthday is in January 18. Birthday is, is? In January or January? January is clear. January. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 18. 18. 18, 18. Ajá, exacto. 18. Sería, January es... January es junio, ¿verdad? En enero. Ay, Dios. <ríe> Qué vergüenza. <¿verdad? ríe> Cerquita estaba. Cerquita la bala. <ríe> Cerquita estaba. <ríe> Uno <Claro>. menos más. <ríe> Vaya, pues. <laughs> Vaya, where, where do you work? I work in a confección del Salvador. I work in in qué? Confecciones del Salvador. Confecciones del Salvador. ¿Y qué haces ahí? Supervisor, asistente, supervisor. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dice, what do you like English? ¿Cómo? When, why do you Ajá. like English? Ah. I, I, I like English because, because my wife speak English and I Gran explicación, no respuesta. 
Sería, bueno, más, más corta. ¿no? Este, más cortita, por favor, Javi. Sí, sí, sí. I, like, I like English because it's interesting. Is... ¿Cuál es la última palabra que me dijiste? Interesting. ¿Qué es? Interesante. Interesante. Uh -huh. Es interés. In... Interesante. Te lo voy a escribir en el chat si quieres. Ajá. Uh -huh. Interés. Ah, oh. ah, ya, 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 ahorita, entonces. Esa es nueva para mí. Ok. Vaya. Eh, which do you favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Uh, body. Color is azul. Uh -huh. Blue. Ya la última. No sé. Es... Ay, vamos a la última. <risas> sí. Ahí me quedé. No sé cómo poner. Espérame. Es este. Es la que dice. ¿Quién? ¿Qué te puedo preguntar con quién? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Si te pregunto cómo... Vamos a ver, espérame. Voy a ver qué se me ocurre. Te puedo preguntar quién... Pero es que no te podía preguntar como quién es tu hermana. No, ¿verdad? Mm. Es que sale, es que es como... Oh, sí, se puede preguntar eso, sí. Who is your sister? Uh -huh. pero, pero, ¿cómo podrías contestar tú? I don't have sister. Oh. oh. Sí. O sea, no tengo hermana. Ok. ¿Quién es? Te la dejo así entonces. Um, who is your sister? Entonces tú me decís. Eh, um, yo no tengo hermano. Ajá. Así me contestaste, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ah, vaya. Eh, I, I, don't, I don't have a sister. Ah, sister, ok. Ah, pues sí. Bye. Ah, pues sí, ya, ya están todos. Ahora, dime tú. Nos hemos quedado que... fáciles, por favor. ¿Cómo escribías AKQDRL? AKQDRL. AKQDRL. Así, Así las iniciales. Así, A -K -Q. Todo. Ajá. Es que es cooperativa. Acá QDRL es una cooperativa, así son las iniciales. Ah, tu cooperativa ah. de confianza. ¿Mm? <risa> ok. Vale, ahí me, yo me acabo en la tres. Te voy a preguntar la cuatro rapidito. Bye. Why do you work in acá QDRL? ¿Qué hago en acá QDRL? No, why do you work? ¿Por qué trabajas? O sea, ¿por qué trabajas en acá en en QDRL? Why do you work Why? in a QDRL? Why do you work? Puedes contestar fácil. ¿no? ¿Por me qué? gusta, porque me gusta trabajar ahí. No like. sé. <risa> Ajá. Porque... Eh, sería because I like. Eh, porque me gusta trabajar en mi área de, como en el área de donde yo estoy entonces I like my 
area work o my my work area no sé como en el área donde estoy estás en qué contabilidad contabilidad o específico porque no because I like porque me gusta ajá ajá en para decir en el área donde estoy in my area my work in my area in, in my area sí o en mi departamento mm, sí, sí los dos. cualquiera de los dos está bien algo así pero because, ajá uh -huh. I like okay ajá uh ajá -huh, uh -huh. vaya la un otra espera un momentito ya te pregunto espera Hola. Hola, espérame un momentito, ya, ya te pregunto. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Vale, la 5 y 1, ¿verdad? Sí, we... Which, which, uh, which do your favorite food? Which? Uh -huh. Favorite, mi comida favorita. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I... I love... The... Las pastas, espagueti. Espagueti. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, I, I love espagueti. Así sería, ¿verdad? Okay. Ajá, este... I love espagueti. Si no puedes también decir my favorite food is espagueti. Oh, my favorite, my favorite food es espagueti. Uh -huh. Eso. All right, finished. Well, actually you were practicing on asking and answering these questions. Do you have any question, any doubts about this exercise? No? All clear?
good. All right. This is another exercise you may complete, like talking about activities that you do in the three um let's say three periods of time during the day. So it says interview your partner about his or her activities on a typical day at work. Use information questions and prepositions of time, like what do you do in the morning? Like, do you have meetings in the afternoon? Um, what do you do in the evening? Or do you work in the evening? Do you have any special responsibility in the evening? But this is something you can complete on your own, right? This is something you can complete with the different activities, mainly for the three like stages or times during the day. All right. So you can say I oh in the morning I open the offices, I prepare my agenda, I prepare a breakfast. Uh-huh. So you, you say like different activities I I mean you have to do depending on your work as, as course as well in the afternoon depending on your the type of work you do like different responsibilities in the evening the same but this is I mean this is something you're gonna do on your own so this is the last um activity we have for this for this unit for the next week we are done I mean we're almost done actually we start with the unit four and I hope you have, I mean, achieved working on the platform. And I'm just going to switch into the, let me see. I'm going to switch into the presentation I just got right here. I uh, just have this activity we did at the beginning. Let me just, yes. Oh, we also ask what time questions. We practice this a lot, and I think this is not a a challenge. Okay, this is something you have made. Sorry. You have been practicing. We practice a lot for these questions as well. Asking what time do you wake up? What time do you go to school? What time do you cook? What time do you eat breakfast? What time do you watch TV? What time do you eat supper? This is like related to activities that you do on a normal day, on a daily basis, right? But you can also ask questions related to work, right? What time do you start work? What time do you finish work? What time do you send emails? What time do you prepare or write reports? So it depends of what you want to ask. And this is for practically asking and answering questions of what time and knowing also as how to say the time because that's something that, um, I mean, something that we need to know regarding the time, knowing the numbers, Knowing the, the clock as well, because for some people it's still a challenge to say the, the hour or the time, the clock time. All right. So this is something we also practice, but I think this is pretty simple. It's something that probably you are already familiar with. Okay. How to ask, what time do you go? What time do you go to work? What time do you go to school? What time do you eat breakfast? But of course, you are asking this question directly to a person, then you say, do you? But if you were asking about somebody else, then you would say, what time does he? What time does she? Right? What time does your father go to work? What time does your mother go? What time does your sister go to bed? I mean, it will depend if you're asking exactly straight to the person, like, do you? Or if you're talking about somebody else, about that he or that she. All right, so we did this. I'm not going to ask you to uh, 
ask the questions again because we practice with this a lot. We also have this prepositions of time. We've been practicing for the last class, okay? In on at, I would say, I recommend you to go from the, the most general to the most specific with this from in, on, and at, in for seasons, months, years. So then on for days, dates, and I guess this is the, the most important for days and dates, right? On Monday and Tuesday, on the 16th of February, on Sunday, April 19th, on the Easter day. And at, for more specific time, like a uh, time of the clock or hours. So you say at eight o'clock, at holidays, at Christmas, and the exceptions that you know that already exist, at noon, at night, at the weekend, or on the weekend as well, and at breakfast, right? So that's the topic we studied yesterday. And now we have another exercise about the use of WH or information questions that this is a little bit challenging for some of us. So we're gonna be using this, this slide and we're gonna be working on creating the questions, okay? We're gonna do it all together so that you can participate and tell me how we create this. Of course, I know that what, when, where, why, how, who, all these WH words can be used in simple questions like what is, or where is, why is, why are you? I know this is possible, but we are not doing these questions that simple anymore. We are using these questions with do or does. So that's the objective, to use the information questions in simple present, okay? So I would say names, and I hope you can help me out, okay? Miguel, what do you think is the number one? What is the order to create this question? And let me see. Mm -hmm. Where? Yes, where? Do they? Do they? Sorry. I didn't make this separation. Do they? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, you only have two more words. Where do they? The verb? What is the verb? Come from. Exactly. Where do they come from? So if you remember, this is the order, the WH or the information word, then the auxiliary, then the subject, then the verb, and the rest, it's just complement, okay? So where do they come from? For example, if you're talking about, let's say, the players from Barcelona, where do they come from? They come from different countries, right? Uh, if you talk about the Beatles, where do they come from? They come from England. They come from Liverpool. If you talk about Il Divo band, where do they come from? They come from Europe, I think, and someone else also from the States. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Ricardo, number two. What she does do? What? The auxiliary? What does she do? What does she do? Okay, exactly. What does she do? For example, she, uh, uh -huh. she watches TV. She watches TV. She's cooking. Uh -huh. These questions are very specific when you talk about the activity that the person is doing at the moment. But what does she do? It's more general. Like what does she do is como a que se dedica. So she's a nurse, she's an accountant, she's an assistant, she works for a big company, but you will know specifically what she does. For example, when when 
we are talking, let's say, about uh, our mom or we're talking about our sister or in the case of the man that you're talking about your wife and then the other person asks you, but in what does she do? Oh, okay. she is, uh, uh, she is uh, a supervisor at this company, right? Okay, I understand. All right, no problem. And let's see. Now, a lady, Christy. Hi, teacher. Hello. What would you order this question like? When do you do? When do you? When do you eat breakfast? Exactly. Breakfast. When do you eat breakfast? This may have two interpretations. Like all the time, every day, or when more specific, like when exactly, at what time, right? Sometimes uh -huh. we want or we expect that the question is always what time, but when can substitute what time because when and what time both refer to time. So time, they are asking for time. When do you eat breakfast? You may say, I always eat breakfast. I eat breakfast every day. And then mm -hmm. what time? You can say more specific. When do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 7, at 8, at 8.30, at 9, right? Or in case you want to answer in a negative form, it's also okay. You say, no, I never eat breakfast. I don't have time or I don't eat breakfast, right? Okay. All right. Let's Thank you. ask Wilmer. Number four. Well, apparently, Wilmer is not available. Nelson, would you volunteer? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, number four. Yes, sir. What does he study English? Okay. Would you repeat Why? it, please? Why? Why does he? Why does she? He study English. Is a she? Is a he? Right. He he he. Oh, sorry. sorry. He. Why does he study English? All right. As I was mentioning, when you ask about another person, yes. For example, if somebody tells me, "Uh, my brother is studying English," or my best friend, and I say, "Oh, really? Why? Why does he study English?" Right, and they oh he studies English because he wants to apply to another job, or he's studying English, or he studies English because he likes it, or he studies English because he wants to get a raise in his job, or he wants to apply to a job at an international company, he wants to travel to another country, and so on and so forth. Right, so you can ask deep. I mean, you can answer it different ways, of, depending of the reason. Right. So, number five. Let's see who else hasn't participated. Oh, Brian, I guess. <laughs> Do you need some more time? How many? How many? Exactly. That is the question. Do you? How many? How do many you, what? How many do you read books per uh -huh. year? Before do you, we need something. How many cars? How many people? How uh, many? Uh, how many books? Exactly. Uh, how many books? 
Do you read? Do you read? Per year. Per year. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Thank you. In this case, with how many? Because it's a number, so we use how many what? How many objects, oh. right? Uh huh. For example, how many cup of coffee do you drink per day? Right? Ten coffee. Mm -hmm. Ten cup of coffee. Ten cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. How many books do you read per day, per year in this case? All right. Perfect. Anyone else? Maybe Laura for the number six. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, sería how, how much? How much? How much what? Does, exactly. How much sugar? Uh, how much sugar does eh, he want? How much sugar does he uh, want? ¿Cuánta azúcar quiere él? Right. For example, your grandfather, your grandma, I mean, your your grandfather, your father, your boss, you say, oh, how much sugar does he want? Or if you are in a dinner or you just serve a cup of coffee to somebody, you say, one, now you can have a bag or a sachet or a spoon. So how much sugar does he want, right? All right. Who else? Who else hasn't participated? Wendy? Number seven. seven. Yes. How is your house? This was an easy one, right? Easy. <laughs> I know. How's your house? Okay. It's big, it's small, it's comfortable, it's cozy, it's humble, it's modest, right? Okay. Let's when see. do they play soccer? When do they play soccer? Okay. Do they play soccer? Okay, when do they play soccer? All right. Who reads your tail? In this one, we don't need the do or does because who is the subject? So who reads short tails? Who reads short tails? Short tails is cuentos or historias, right? Who reads short tails? Next one. When you celebrate your when? birthday. You? When? Oh, wait a second. After when, what do we need? Do the verb. Exactly. When, uh, when, do, you? when do, you? <laughs> do you celebrate <laughs> your birthday? Exactly. When do you celebrate your birthday? All right. So I'm having some issues with my mouse. Basically, I don't know, but it's giving me a hard time. All right. The next one. Where does she read the new the newspaper? Where does she read the newspaper? The newspaper. All right. Where does she read the newspaper? In her kitchen, in her living room, in the office. All right. I cannot just scroll. I don't know what's going on with my mouse. Give me one second. Yeah. Hold on. All right, next one. Okay. 
-hmm. How many brothers do you have? How many brothers do you have? All right, how many brothers do you have? We usually say how many brothers and sisters do you have, right? Okay, how many brothers do you have? Let's see the next one. Okay. How? How often? Mm -hmm. Does she? Does she? Travel. Travel by Europe. Mm -hmm. How often does she travel by Europe? Okay, okay. Let me see. This time I'm able to. Mm, doesn't allow me. All right. I'm going to move this somewhere else. I'm going to try to move this thing to the other side. My goodness, wait a second. I don't need to depend. I'm gonna write number 14 Who right here. Uh -huh. Who? Who study English? Exactly. Who studies English? When you have who, sometimes you need do or does because you say the subject of the question is do or he or she. But in this case, we don't have any other subject. So we just who studies. So we go directly with the verb in third person. So who studies English? And the last one. Where? Mm -hmm. Where do they go to a school? Where do they go to school? So usually we say they go to a specific school or in a specific city. Okay, where do they go to school? All right. Okay. Is there any question? I think I'm going to start using the crowd instead. Is there any question related to structuring WH questions, information questions in the simple present with third person? No? Well, hopefully no. Okay, I'm going to start having the last attendance for this class. And let's start with Christina. Andrea. Brian. Christian. Here. Thank you. Christian Alexander. David. Doris. Douglas. Good night, teacher. Good night. Stephanie. Francisco. Present. Sorry, teacher. Good night. All right. Good night. Gracias. Present. 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 Gracias. Right. So, recordarle de su sección de one on one. No sé qué, qué le pasó anoche. Sí, ayer me desconecté, pero hoy me voy a quedar. Bye. Perfect. <laughs> Héctor. Present, teacher. All right. Good night. Joanna. Present. Night. Jose Antonio. Carla. Present teacher. Good night. Night. Laura. Present teacher. Good night. night. Miguel. Present teacher. Good, good night. night. Nelson. Good night. Present teacher. Good night. Ricardo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Have a nice weekend, Wendy. Thank you. Present teacher, good night. Good night. And Wilmer. All right. Recordatorio, trabajar la plataforma, terminar la unidad 3. Creo que muchos ya la terminaron, lo cual es muy, muy bueno. Pues ya le va a dar para descansar el fin de semana. So you don't have to work 
on the platform, pero si no es el caso, finish it as soon as possible, because tomorrow, generalmente, pues ingresan los supervisores a revisar la plataforma que haya sido completada y así poder, pues, trasladar los, las notas a su cuadro de, de notas. Very good. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoy and rest and I see you next Monday. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good, teacher. Good night. Good night. Eh, teacher, no sé si me mencionó, pero... Sí, sí, sí. Present. All right, ah, okay. no problem. Present, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Teacher, yes, I can do my exercise uh, today or I can do tomorrow. Tomorrow, the earliest, the earliest. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay, thank All you. All right, night, teacher. Yo que yo había hecho los cuatro, no problem, está solvente. <laughs> Ok, y también tenía otra pregunta. Dígame. Eh, ¿Cuánto dura el módulo número dos? Igual, mm, cuatro mi, semanas. Sí, todos los básicos duran cuatro semanas, cuatro unidades. Ya de intermedio en adelante duran cinco semanas. Ah, bueno, es que dentro de dos meses me toca el cambio y como ya llevo seis meses de día, entonces me dijo que solo le avisara para así... Si me escriben, que quedar de día otra vez. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ajá, por eso le preguntaba. Ok, yes, four weeks. Thank you, good night. All right, good night. Ok, gracias. No podemos yes. hacer la sesión de one on one en español, no se preocupe. Ah, ok. Uh, yesterday, I was very, very tired and I just sleep. <laughs> you fell asleep <laughs> yes it's okay I understand but I, I was thinking what happened because I was waiting and then I don't I didn't see anybody and I was like oh my goodness <laughs> it's okay Sorry. no problem all right you want to do it in English or in Spanish I try all I right can... good 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 I like that all right tell me what well, we're going to start with something very simple, okay? But yes. whatever you can say in English about yourself, you can talk to me about yourself in English. Okay. Um, I am 26 years old, and I live in Ciudad Arce. I was work in Zamorano, but mm -hmm. I have uh, one week in a new job. Really? Yes, and now I work in Acceso. Is a empresa? What is a company? Is a company. Um, ay, aquí sí me cuesta, pero es una empresa que está dedicada a la a la compra y a la comercialización de productos y los sí. cuales les pro, ajá, de hortalizas y frutas, ajá, hortalizas mm. y frutas. Um, they buy, no, they sí, buy, buy. They, they buy, they buy uh, agricultures and they commercial, commercialising. They no. sell. Ah, uh, they sell to super selectos, uh, Walmart, I think so. Like the main supermarkets uh, in the country. Yes. Oh, really? And, and why did you change your job? But the conditions now are better, much really? better. Yes, you stay and in I... one place. What? You stay in one place or you are still moving around? Moving, but the salary is it's better. Yes. Oh, nice. And the activities, bueno, anteriormente, en la empresa que estaba ya, había, ya tenía cinco años. Mm -hmm. Entonces yo, bueno, como que quería crecer, vea, personalmente y profesionalmente. Obviamente. Entonces vi la oportunidad y me moví. Me estoy adaptando y por eso es que vengo bien cansada, porque es un trabajo más demandante, pero... Yeah, I try. And, and adapting is also difficult. Yes. Okay, and you just move 
Like you just leave the place. Not uh, now. I move around my house. Mm -hmm. I move in Zapotitan, mm -hmm. in San Juan Opico, mm -hmm. uh, in San Pablo Tacachico. Mm -hmm. I return to my house every day. Mm -hmm. But when you finish the other job in the other company, like the next day you work in the other company. Yes. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Yes. That's really nice. Es una gran oportunidad y normalmente pues en estos tiempos casi no se puede hacer eso, ¿verdad? No. De saltar de un trabajo a otro. No, you Pero... have to wait. You have to look for a job. Uh -huh. Yes. Bro. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Okay. Anything else you want to add about yourself? Um yes, I I I can what is the no what do you say aprender learn learn I try to learn English very very nice because the the company in la que trabajo ahora the is company the, I work for uh -huh, the company I work I work for mm -hmm. uh -huh. Eh, tiene bastante como bastante relaciones internacionales really uh, entonces I think that is an opportunity for crecer to grow uh -huh. in, in the company, the company. Mm -hmm. yes that's great but wow you graduated very young if you were five years in San Bruno yes Yeah. Me gradué de 20, bueno, bueno tengo seis años de haber egresado del técnico uh -huh. y luego seguí estudiando la ingeniería, pero trabajando de la mano. ¿eh? Entonces, uh -huh. por eso que tengo ya un poco de tiempo trabajando. Ok, ¿en your studies at US? No, en eh, okay. la ENA. Ah, en ENA, es true, you already mentioned. So, en yes. the technician is only two or three years. Three years? Three years. And then I go, bueno, I was studying in Luterana. Uh -huh. In University Luterana, uh -huh. the, la ingeniería. The really they have the engineering. Yes, but the engineer is agroecology, uh -huh. no agronomy, uh -huh. no agronomía. In La Ina, you went to the campus. Yes, I you live. Really? I live. Really? You live in the yes. campus? Yes. And in, in Luterana, they have a campus too. Yes, but the class is only in the class in the classmates. As mm, it is in the classroom. Classrooms. Uh -huh. Really. Yes, and the study is only weekends. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I know an an agronomer, um, but from US. She was uh, my uh -huh. yes. she was my student and then she graduated this year. But the campus for agronomy in US is in San Luis Talpa, like near yes. the airport. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, but it's bueno the only universities they have the career is Luterano. Mm -hmm. La Utla, the Utla, mm -hmm. la Utla. Mm -hmm. Eh, y la nacional. Mm -hmm. True. Oh, wow. Well, let's switch into Spanish. Like, ¿cómo se ha sentido en el curso? ¿Cómo le ha ido? Aparte de lo, de lo del cansancio que es entendible, pues la hora también es como un poco tarde y nadie viene solo de, de estar relax todo el día, por eso venimos sí. de trabajar y Yes, bueno, la verdad bien. que me he sentido súper bien porque era también un reto personal, uh -huh. porque bueno, si se fija, pues antes de justamente ese nuevo trabajo, pero uh -huh. con el nuevo trabajo encontré mucha más motivación, uh -huh. pero anteriormente las clases en inglés yo las quería para crecer y para, para abrirme otras oportunidades, ¿ve? entonces uh -huh. ahora que las estoy aprendiendo de una forma bien básica, o sea que estoy empezando prácticamente a gatear, me gusta más porque lo estoy lo estoy haciendo bien conscientemente. Uh -huh. Anteriormente, yo estudié en la Maferrer. Y ahí, o sea, yo me siento mal de haber desperdiciado bastante todo ese conocimiento porque nos enseñaban inglés desde primer grado hasta bachillerato. 
y yo todo ese conocimiento prácticamente lo, lo perdí, o sea, no lo... ¿En la más carrera? Sí. ¿En esta frente a Ipca? Sí. Yo también di clase. De verdad. <ríe> o sea, pero hace mucho tiempo, I was a very novice teacher, o sea, muy novato. Estaba, no. o sea, no di clase como tal en la escuela porque no quise aceptar la, la, la plaza. Pero, pero sí, un piloto, un programa piloto del Miner que se llamaba Compite. Really? Pero bueno, no, sí, no, no, no. Sí, no, pero esa escuela siempre, desde que yo tengo uso de razón, siempre había impulsado bastante el inglés. De hecho, muchas de mis compañeras trabajan ahí, muchas de mis amigas. ¿En serio? Margarita Benítez, Clarita. Me dio clases. Ella me dio clases. También estuvo Pompilio. Pompilio también me dio clases en tercer grado. Todos ellos eran mis compañeros de esta. En serio. Okay. Bueno, pues, imagínense qué pequeño es el mundo, pues. What Yo me siento mal. Por... <risa> yes. Y me sí. siento mal porque. O sea, yo sí, sinceramente, yo siempre decía, no, inglés, ¿para qué? O sea, no me gusta, no lo entiendo y no, nunca lo voy a aprender, vea. Y ahora que, que algunas cosas aún las recuerdo y que, que tengo sirven. algunas pronunciaciones, me sí. sirven un montón. Sí, Entonces sí. me he sentido bien, la verdad, bastante Ay, bien y manera. satisfecha. Ay, pues, qué bonito escuchar eso. <risa> No, y la verdad que por eso le pregunté la otra vez este, si usted nos iba a seguir impartiendo los cursos, aunque yo en el fondo sabía que no, porque me imaginaba que se rotaban. ¿verdad? No, la Pero... verdad es que, pues, coordinación de inglés corporativo se encarga de todo y ellos asignan. Sí, y tiene su lógica, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. yo hablaba con Stephanie cuando todavía estaba con él, le decía uh -huh. que la forma de enseñar es bien, o sea, quizás porque es básico también, pero la forma y la paciencia con la que explicas como que a los que tenemos una idea nos ayuda, pero a los que todavía están encarrilándose les ayuda muchísimo. Entonces es una buena estrategia la que ocupa la verdad. Ay, yo estoy sí, feliz sí. de que nos haya tocado este alineo porque estamos empezando, no podemos ir de entrada con alguien que nos agarre en inglés 100% y que no nos dé nada en español. Sí, Entonces bueno. ha sido bastante bonita la experiencia. Bueno, que me alegra. Iba muy bien en la, en la plataforma. No ha tenido dificultades ni nada. Gracias a Dios, sí, pero ahora hice las últimas evaluaciones y tuve unos errores. Los corregí, vea. Uh -huh. Pero sí tuve varios errores. En la primera evaluación salí súper bien, pero en esta sí. Pero pues como que quizás no hemos visto la, la última unidad aún. Sí. Uh -huh. Ahí sí, yo creo que es. No se preocupe. Creo que la puede corregir. Sí, yo eso estaba viendo que, que en las que tenía malas la volví a enviar y, y aparecían buenas. Sí. Entonces, hasta ahorita el recorrido de las tres unidades, eh, todo bien. Ah, las he pasado del nivel porque creo que se pasan con el 80% en uh -huh. adelante. Sí. Entonces, sí, ya vi el progreso y ya me sentí tranquila. Vale, qué bueno. <risa> bueno, voy a hacer de verdad un gusto. Gracias, igual, igual las evaluaciones no están tan complejas. No, están bien amigables, la verdad. Sí, bien, bien, amiga. Bueno, pues, ya la dejo para que vaya a descansar. Muchísimas gracias. <ríe> Cuídense. Good night. Gracias, igual. Feliz noche. All Good right. night. See you next Monday. Ok. Bye.